Hello, hello, and welcome back. <clears throat> I apologize last time for the audio desync. Um, probably due to the extensive chipmunking I had to do. Um, <clears throat> also apologize for the extensive chipmunking. The, uh, as I didn't realize, that episode turned out to be like 18 to 19 minutes unedited. And I still apparently can't upload things under 15 minutes. Also, somebody pointed out, if you notice, when you shine spark, you lose energy. I was at full health, now I'm at 69. That is what happened last time when I shine spark straight up. I will probably put a note about it, but just in case. So, yeah, I don't think it'll let you kill yourself by shine sparking. I've never tried. Uh, but that is why it stopped me early. I was low to basically empty on energy. Um, and this time, now we're going to head back into Norfair and pick up the grapple beam. You can if you're really good timing and aim. How you would how I would, you know, get through that other room over there, you can do it by wall jumping, but it's very precise. You can run through here and time it perfectly to shine spark right there and make it up and through this door before it runs out yeah that quick use that thing to open the door beforehand get here and then jump and go or, or something there's a way to do it I, I forget and you can actually shoot across that other room get the missile power up and get out the other side getting back is a different story actually I don't remember if there's an easy way to get back without having to just go on through and get something else so I'm not gonna do it but uh, I figured I'd just show you that that's how you can get across that room without, you know, having to have the grapple beam. But I'm going to get the grapple beam anyway because I've already said this is a 100% run. And to make my life easier so that I'm not trying to do all sorts of crazy maneuvers to skip around things with grapple beam points, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. I'm going to have to get it anyway at some point, so why not now what it's intended? Um, do, 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 do. Have I been in this door? Looks like I have. What was it? I don't remember. Um, in any case, that is the direction I want to go, I believe. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and take it, because it looks like there's something over there I haven't been through. Oh, I know what that is. That was when I went back to the intro area. Okay. Well, come on. Let me drop my power bomb here. Oh yes, this room. Somewhat of a shortcut. Fucking annoying, too. Yeah, you can still shoot while you're being chewed on, apparently. That's... That's special. You can't move, but you can still fire. Whatever. I suppose they are only chewing your legs off, not the rest of you. And down we go. Um... What was there? Something down here? Maybe, yes, no, possibly, yes, there. I, I feel like exploring. Totally didn't mean to pause the button. Select the start buttons are right next to each other. This is another one of those rooms with the lights that you can you know, destroy, but you can also just freeze them and go past without destroying them, and for some reason, while frozen, they still provide light. So, it's a nice little trick of the trade here. Oh, grapple beam. Something tells me I can get up there without it, though. Yes, almost certainly. Yep, see? Creative jumping for the win. Still technically ought to have it to get around here, but... You know, if you do it right, you can use these things as platforms. Oh, well, shit, that didn't work. Yeah, run, 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 run. Ow, goddamn. That may or may not be possible. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, reserve tanks for the win. Let's just hope I can make it up there. <clears throat> Close. Oh, come off. Uh. Oh, hey, there's a safe spot right here. No. Shit. Thank you. I can't even make it. Nope, we can't. It should have turned back to my ship up here in Criteria. It's not that far back. Not a big deal, I can run back through there. Remind me not to go in that room again. And that would be death number two for me being an idiot. Um, 
Yeah, I'd say if I was normally playing this game, like, you know, on emulator, I've never played it on console, I would have literally just abused a save state there. I would have noticed I was getting close to dying and everything, and hit a save state with hopefully enough time to make it back out. But since I'm trying to do this as legit as possible for you guys, I won't be doing that. I'm going to shoot down. I don't know why I bothered to come all the way over here, but hey. <coughs> I'm going to be moving kind of quickly here, like I would normally do if I was just running through the game instead of trying to <coughs> take time and talk about stuff and move around. I'm going to go as quick as I can to get back to where I was. I'll probably be less commentary for it. Oh, come on. Hit the wrong button. There we go. No, god damn it. Oh, well, yeah, you can, you have a little bit of time before it'll chew on you again, thankfully. Yeah, the ones up above don't actually chew on you, they just hit you just like spikes. Except, ow, I think they made, they do that, that's the point, is to knock you into the ones at the bottom. I said this is one of the most annoying rooms in this entire game. I don't know why I keep taking it, there are other ways through, but whatever. I'm a glutton for punishment like that. Let's see here. So as not to go down to the other room. I'm trying to remember where I want to go. I want to get down to North Air, so I gotta just keep going down, it looks like. Yeah, there was that room, the big blue area that I was. Uh, clearly. You know, I was right near the end, but just couldn't quite swing it. Yeah, and you can, you know, use power bombs to you know, clear places out like that in one go, but since I have so few of them, I'm not gonna be using them that much because I kind of feel like it's a waste. I mean, you can get more and whatnot. And just, I don't know. It's just me. Yeah, high jump boots are, are kind of a bane in this place. If you can't jump your forward, that happens. You kind of, what you want to do is you want to just get a little running start if I don't fuck it up. There we go. Yeah, it is still possible to get through here. But the high jump boots just kind of annoying. Second, guys. I'm gonna have to pause it here for just a second. I'll probably edit this out. Okay, I apologize. That will almost certainly be edited out. So, we're moving on out. I like this room. Yay! Water tunnel. Oh, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Because I think it's how you're normally supposed to get in here, but what you can do is you can power bomb this tunnel, and we get over here so I don't fall. And, yeah. You can get into Meridian. This is underwater. It's a really slow jumping and everything, so it's kind of... I'm trying to remember. I think it's a safe point that's down here. I kind of hope it is. Not because I need to save or anything, just because I don't want to explore all that for you. Yeah, there you go. Um, that is all that's down here, and it looks like there ought to be something else in this little area, but I'm almost certain that's it. It's hard as nuts to control yourself underwater. If you can't already tell, I'm having troubles. You don't... Yeah, here we go. Can I... Look at that. I'm not crazy ass looking. I'm not going to bother with that for now. Of course, I did just kind of screw myself. I had to run back and forth in there. Now I have to go jump through the water to make it. But whatever. I don't care. Down she goes. Um, where have I and have I not been? Now that I'm back in Norfair. Uh, well, looks like I have to go way over there again. That's where the super bomb doors were. Not a problem. Now that I have my speed boots and a shortcut. I can get through there pretty quickly. Ooh, hey! Powerbomb door. Let's find out what's in here. This is, oh, the map, finally. Thank goodness. Now you can see what I usually know. Yeah, there you go. Lots of stuff. I see exactly where I've been thinking about these certain areas. 
Now I know where I am. This will be much easier for me to navigate. This is what I'm used to looking at, by the way. Alright. There's a room up there somehow I've missed. Well, I will get that. Yeah, I was, I was just confused earlier as to where I was, so... I mean, I knew, like, what the rooms looked like. I recognized them, but not as far as layout on the map goes. But now that I know, I'm good. So let's blast our way through here. I want to say there is a way you can fire just right and actually keep your speed boost on through that door. But I, you know, could be wrong. And down here, there ought to be... Something. Oh, that. Right. Okay. Okay, this room. Is this the room I was thinking about? No, it's further. I know what where that is. That's grapple beam. Okay. Um I honestly don't remember exactly where the grapple beam is. Um I have an idea. But I'm just gonna go at this point and explore. I like really and truly I'm just gonna go anywhere I can seem to find to go. Which wait a minute, where did I come from? Where am I going? Oh, okay, I'm going down. Where did I come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Yeah, whatever that is. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? That's it. It's sad that I know that. That's totally not where I meant to go, even though... I, I don't think I showed this one. This was in that first take that I never ended up keeping. Um, this is just a dead-end room. I'm, there's nothing in here. There's a refill. Um, you know, I'm 99.9999% 9, sure there's nothing in there. It's one of those rooms that I always just go, I think there's something in there. Come back later, check it out, and there never is. And more of our flaming pillar hand things that shoot lava at us. Now, why didn't I go down in this room? I tried, I think. Maybe I didn't even bother. Oh, that's right. I looked down here in the, uh, again, the take that wasn't taken. The, the first take. I went down here, and that's right. I discovered this and said I can't go anymore, so I just didn't bother to do it in take two. There you go. There's also a missile pack I got in take one that I never said anything about in take two. And oh, really? This is already here? Okay, I can't. You have to go down through the lava down there to get up there. And I can't do that yet. That actually requires a couple of things. That would be the fourth boss, the last one before the end, is that direction. So now I'm really at a loss. Well. Time to just keep a look and I will eventually come upon something I recognize and know what the fuck to do with. Uh, see, it looks like... I may have to go way back up there to the left over there in the ice beam area. That might be what I have to do. I have to go down around that direction. That would not surprise me. But I'm going to make a little loop here real quick and see. And if there's nothing here, then I'm just going to cut it and meet you over at the ice area. Um, actually, I'm just going to end the episode, and I'll, I'll meet you at the end of the next episode over in the ice beam area, because it, the run over there is going to be uneventful. I mean, if it turns out that I actually end up picking something up on the way over there, I will, you know, show that. But, yeah, this game can have a lot of just running around and exploring and not sure where you're at and all that sort of fun stuff, and it really makes for kind of a you know, lackluster LP when you have to see me running through the exact same areas over and over and over again. Um, and, you know, if I had, you know, something to talk about or the best commentary in the world, it might not be too bad, but, you know, self-deprecating here, I know I don't. So, I want to spare you the time. Also, I know I find it more interesting, considering this is a 100% run, I will be collecting lots of stuff. Might as well save it and show you the stuff. Then all of the crazy around is going to explore. It's going to take me to find the best stuff. So. It looks like there wasn't a whole lot here. Um, I'm going to shoot this thing down. Yeah, see? Grapple beam points up there. I'm going to go up into here. To just try to keep consistent and end it in a safe point area. I will see you guys later.